I'd rather listen to his podcast, huh? Dude, it's educational. And besides, I've been wanting to listen to this one. Welcome to Idling in the Impala, a podcast by and for lovers of Supernatural and the fan fiction it inspires. I'm Sandra. I'm Carly. And a happy birthday to us. Yay! Not- Yay! <laughs> Celebration! <laughs> Streamers, blue and confetti! My husband asked if we were going to get a little cupcake with a candle in it, and I was like, Aww. probably probably not, no. I could, you put gonna make that on the, I could put that on the on the podcast art though we can, you yeah, could. could do that you Here we could go. i'm gonna write yeah. that down cupcake write that down. <laughs> <laughs> so um i think this is gonna go out on the 27th so it's not technically our birthday until tomorrow but we didn't want to mess up the schedule because i'm anal about the schedule and no i, like I don't want to be change consistent. it either Mm-mm. no Mm-mm. so happy birthday to us anyway we have been doing this little labor of love for a whole year now and i know certainly it is not what i thought it was going to be when we started but we love it nonetheless and because i like to inflict torture on myself and sandra you know y'all y'all remember the google drive folders <laughs> i thought it would be fun to go back and listen to our very first episode and try not to die of cringe <laughs> Because we know that's what's going to happen, but I thought it, I thought it would be fun to look back over the year at where we started and where we are now. So Sandra has the audio, yeah, and we're just going to have a little bit of a listen. Maybe we'll talk over it if we have like some really important bits to say. We'll pause it and stuff. Please don't panic. We have no plans to listen to the whole fifty minutes of it. I think I might. Be- like one of us might need to go to the hospital of cringe induced something. <laughs> so when we're, we're probably not going to listen to all of it, we might jump around a bit, but mm-hmm. we are going to go ahead and listen to the start. Yeah. So Carly, I think you you and I share the secondhand embarrassment uh, thing too. Like mm. I know I am one of those people that if I think this is why I don't like watching reality TV very much because if because knowing it's an actual person doing an actual thing and that may be feeling embarrassed or is doing something that's like Ugh. putting them out there. I just Cringe. don't watch it. So this is like knowing it's me is like even more secondhand embarrassment, but not like it's my embarrassment, but squared it's or whatever. Yeah, it's just it's really, like it's double, just double embarrassment. It's like, it's my embarrassment. And then it's my secondhand embarrassment for my embarrassment. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And yeah. I, I was looking um, right before we went on. So, at the time of recording this, we have, I think, 62 episodes either out or in the lineup to be released um, overall on the podcast. That includes our um, regular episodes and then our bonus episodes or our uh, Ramble On uh, fix that we do. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we've we've come we've come a long way. We've done a lot of stuff. So this will be. Yeah, I guess, uh, uh, I, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just, in, yeah, we should just get started. Let's just rip the bandaid off this. Let's just, let's just rip the bandaid off this. Okay. okay. All right. Ready so when you get ready are. to start, let me know again, if you can't hear it or whatever, and then we'll, we'll figure stuff out. All right. We're so technical guys. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. Hey. What? Did you get them? I may have distracted him with a kiss and snuck them out of his jacket. My model. Let's go. Oh, the sound effects. Yay. This was a big production for me. Yeah, what's the <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, it, it took so long. I'm cataloging books right now. That was so well done, though. Ah, you put so much work this, into this. Sandra, this is just the kind of relaxation we needed. I have so much cringe, though. <laughs> Oh, Carly, we've got someone in the back seat again. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't see you there. Don't mind the Dean. High school later. drama. All right. Well, you know Dean's house rules and baby. Driver picks the music, shotgun shuts his cake hole, and the ones in the back enjoy the ride, idling in the Impala. Yeah, that's coming in in a minute. <laughs> yeah, just pause it for a second. Just okay. pause it for a second. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when we first started this, we were really 
because we didn't know anything about um like putting things online and doing this kind of stuff we were really like oh no we can't take anything from the show we can't take any audio from the show like you know what what if it gets like a copyright claim against it and things like that so we were like really reticent to use anything and obviously the intro has changed and it's evolved and I'm a huge fan of the current intro because it's short and concise <laughs> and I like that because they were they were so long <laughs> They were so long. We had we had a great time like recording them and stuff, but they were long. Yeah, I miss them though. Like, but then I realized I think the lat the other one that we did was like over two minutes, it was, like two two and a half. Oh minutes. god, yeah. And I mean, I have seen other. I've I've heard other podcasts do similar stuff. I mean, I've I've heard podcasts where they've they've had people like record um, music parodies that are like related to supernatural, and sometimes they take like two or three minutes, or there's audio from different episodes that they might be reacting to that they put in there. So I've seen anything from like 45 seconds, you know, 15 seconds, just a little car engine. Um, uh, but then people like really going all out and not getting into the meat of the podcast until like maybe three minutes or so. So I guess it just depends. Um, I have noticed when I went back and looked at some of the episodes and the analytics that um, the people who know have like skipped like, you know, two minutes yeah. in before they start. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I think even though, even though I miss it and I'd love to maybe just do another recording just for shits and giggles, maybe just for like one, a one-off or something. Um, maybe we could do that at some point. Just like put yeah. it in there. But yeah. 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 It was long. We've obviously, as you can now tell, we've settled into it and we've been like, it's only a little bit of audio from the mm-hmm. show. It will probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard enough that it's like, okay, it's not that bad. Um, if we only do like five or 10 seconds, we're not going to get where I don't think we're going to get dinged. It hasn't happened. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, no. Okay. And also like Sam is like, uh, our podcast is educational to Sam. <laughs> it's educational. I've been it's wanting to, to Dean. This. <laughs> well, I think he's, me I think he he protests too much. He probably does like it when he listens to it. So I just the think lady, he's like the lady doth protest too much. Yeah. Also, just um break the fourth wall a tiny bit. If you hear random um like bangs or thumps in the background, you probably won't because Sandra will edit it out. But if you do, or um, far more likely you hear a cat yelling like it's being murdered. It's not. Jinx has got a bad case of the zoomies today and he's lost his favorite pom pom and I'm an asshole and won't go find it for him. So he's just fucking hauling around the house being an asshole. So (laughs) if it's funny, Sandra will leave it in, but I don't want anybody to think there's any kind of like animal abuse or anything like that going on. He's just being an asshole, but he's fine. He's he'll come back in with a different colored pom pom at some point. There are hundreds of them in the house but he needs this one specific one apparently so yeah fourth wall break done let's go (sighs) okay i'm interested to hear how we sound because we had both of us had different mics when we started didn't we Mm -hmm. yeah and yeah (laughs) okay here we go (laughs) okay hello and welcome to our test drive of idling in the impala i'm sandra I'm Carly, and this is a podcast by and for lovers of Supernatural and Supernatural fanfics. Okay, so we are both watchers and fans of the show Supernatural, and we're also super fans of stars Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles. I know personally I've been listening to lots of podcasts on the subject of Supernatural, like episode reactions, breakdowns, uh, but I haven't been able to find anything that recommended a particular fan fiction that I am a big fan of. Okay, I'm just so like... <laughs> You're not okay. <laughs> I'm okay, but it's just... Yeah, this is this is me reading my script, and which I... We've all... We all know by now, if you listen, that Carly is the improver. I am not. So I still don't quite have that down, but... Uh, but at least it's good. I feel like it's giving... It's giving an intro about what the thing is about, which you're supposed to do anyway. The thing is, though, it doesn't sound like you're reading off a script. If you'd have said to me you had a script in front of you, if you hadn't have said that, I wouldn't have thought it. It is a little bit. It's clunky. 
it, a little bit. It's stop but, and start because I'm not, I'm not yeah, that great at it. <laughs> it well, it's not even that. It's new, isn't it? We didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know, we we were winging it just the same. So I'm the audio. I was expecting the audio <laughs> not to be bad, but definitely to be different. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, oh wow, yeah, yeah, it's Damn. it's yeah, because I I think this was. I don't <clears throat> think. I think it was at least two or three episodes in before I started to really tweak the the sound a little bit more and kind of get it get it down, like understand what I had to do to it. So yeah. So if you stick around, um, you'll realize quite quickly that I am a Dean girl. I love Dean centric fan fanfics. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the ship or the pairing or the aspect is. Um, it could be Dusty L, it could be Wincest, it could be Bi Curious Dean, Demon Dean, Mark Keen Dean. I really like Mark Keen Dean. A.U. Dean, um, if it feels like Dean and the writer gets the essence of my favorite Winchester from the get-go, then you've got me. I'm hooked. So Carly, you are here for what reason? Because I dragged you. (laughs) (laughs) Because you wouldn't shut up about making a podcast until I agreed. That's not true. true. I was firmly on board. I I will say, that bit sounded like you were reading off a list when you were yeah. like, and this Dean, and this Dean, and yeah. this Dean, and this Dean, and this Dean. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I right, will we, say, though, uh, yeah, go ahead, because you're, you're the only person that's really spoke. You are much more expressive with your voice now. You're much, mm-hmm. you're like, not louder, because you're not a particularly loud person, unlike me. <laughs> but you just, like, I can feel the confidence in your voice now. You're, like, so... So little mm-hmm. in that one. You're just like almost trying to hide. Yeah. Even though even though it was your idea. I <laughs> think when we had like when we get into conversations and they just flow, that's different. But I think because there was like all this unknown and really trying to figure out like what do we do and like, you know, reading or listening to people and how they suggested stuff be done. And I was just like, okay. And I, I think too, like, um, yeah, it was just, it was this unknown and never having imagined even doing anything like this. Mm-hmm. I think I was surprising myself and like, this really isn't going to be a thing. And no, you know, let's just, let's just give it a go and see. And I really and don't think, you are. yeah, but I really like truly Carly, if you weren't along for the ride, I would not still be doing this because it's, I think then it would feel like a lot of work you know Mm. I mean this is still work but it's fun to do and it's fun when you have someone to bounce things off of and express your joy and interest and and love of of fan you know fanning out Mm. you know I just I just like that it just it's a it's a nice release and escape and I wouldn't be doing this still if you weren't here oh thank you so thank you do we want to listen to you now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm going to be like, no, nah, no, nah, that's enough now, Sandra. Turn it off. No, no, no. Put me on. Okay. See what I'd come up with. Okay. I'm here to make sure that we get a little bit of Sam in here mm-hmm. to balance out all of your Dean because my baby needs some love. Mm-hmm. I am a Sam girl, 100% through and through. Fell in love with the height, stayed for the hair. <laughs> that's exactly how it goes um i don't really have any preference on pairings i will read pretty much anything and everything um like you sandra i like it i need it to feel like the character you know even if mm-hmm. it's a you i still prefer it to feel like the person mm-hmm. to feel like sam or feel like dean mm-hmm. um but it doesn't really matter who's doing what with who mm-hmm. i'll read it either way as long as it's got a good story and I feel like it's something that one of the characters would do, I'm in for it. Yeah, so. I've noticed too. Anything? Yeah, I was just, I was trying to think back. I remember being so mad that I misgendered myself there, mm. but I hadn't been out very long mm-hmm. and I was still adjusting myself. But I remember being so mad, mm-hmm. but not feeling confident enough to say, hey, can we just go back and redo that bit? Because I don't, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just to get again the audio. I don't know what <laughs> mic I was using then as well. I was using a like a, a headset that I used for work at the time. Okay. Because I was like, yeah, no, this will probably be fine. And it turns out it wasn't. <laughs> I went and bought a proper <laughs> mic. Not too long after that. Yeah, I think 
I'm trying to remember that might have just been yeah that might have just been my headphones I think my usual like you know my headphones with just the mic on them yeah but I'd, I'd done this with I think we did a we did a lot of recordings I think and then just we recorded for like a couple of hours and then just kind of broke up yeah the next few episodes too yeah I was mm-hmm. I was thinking about that too because I've definitely I definitely remember you saying Sam girl and then I think in another episode I might have said it and then we finally realized we've got to like you know we've got to get that get that right and make sure that we do that correctly each time and I know mm-hmm. I still catch myself trying to you know get it correct um but I feel it's I feel for me it's gotten a bit easier um I think just from practice repetition yeah you know it kind of it it becomes um a little bit easier for me I still I still catch myself and just kind of like stop and start before I'm saying something sometimes just to make sure that you know I still do give you the respect and stuff I still do that I still do that especially if I've been talking to someone who just doesn't use my preferred pronouns Mm -hmm. and then I'll catch myself for a little while after that Mm -hmm. um you know I like I prefer the word spouse over wife but I'll catch Mm -hmm. myself talking to my husband and be like I'm the best wife you've ever had Mm -hmm. and things like that and I think I I don't know my my journey with gender is a whole other episode but mm-hmm. yeah I do I do very vividly remember being really angry about that mm-hmm. like oh, mm-hmm. for fuck's sake it's also worth bearing in mind that while me and Sandra had been friends online for quite a while before we started this podcast and we'd been in the group chat and we'd been chatting and you know we were we were we were pretty close for online friends I think this mm-hmm. was only the first or second time we'd actually spoken in person mm-hmm. I think we had like a little bit of a planning session mm-hmm. and then we came back in and like dive straight into a recording. Mm-hmm. So I think we sound pretty good to say that it was only like, you know, because there's typing to someone and someone's just words on a screen, and then there's actually talking to someone. Yeah, and, and figuring out what somebody sounds like and all that other stuff too. Because I think I had, I might have sent you in D. I think a video before this, like when I was at the first convention, and so I was recording myself and talking. And yeah, stuff. so that did. was probably the first time you know, anyone had really like seen any of us sort of animated and talking and, you know, all that stuff. So, but I mm-hmm. hadn't heard you up until this point. So I think, yeah, yeah. it was so, that it was, was so great. Honestly, I don't think that could have worked out any worse in your favor though, because not only am I British, though it's a different accent, but because of where I come from in Britain, I have like, a, like it's, it's not a clean accent, you know, it's not like Queen's English, like, like um, Downton Abbey. You know, it's <laughs> slang and I drop my G's and I drop H's in words and things like that. And I talk quite fast. So I imagine for the first few times for you, it was just like, um, I didn't know just what you said. Uh, could you go again? <laughs> Whereas you have like, you have like a really nice, stable accent that doesn't, I mean, we say Adidas differently and you're wrong. But, you know, apart wait a minute, from that. Wait a minute, say what? <laughs> <laughs> Adidas, the clothing brand, fucking Adidas. Oh, Adidas! <laughs> no, she <laughs> said Adidas. Adidas. See, that sounds I, like. Does it look at that ass? That's like. <laughs> Adidas. I was like, are you talking about Jensen or Jared's ass? No, <laughs> what is going no, on? No, the clothing brand. The clothing brand. I have to Adidas. find out. Adidas. Okay. Okay. Fucking Adidas. It is not <laughs> Adidas. I'm gonna find Adidas. out if it was started in the UK or if it was started in the um look it would look it comes from Germany. Adidas comes from Germany. My pronunciation is correct, not yours. Okay, are you my sure? Maybe. I don't okay. know. Let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll do like a um pronunciation thing. Okay. Are we doing that now? I'm gonna no, I'm just I'm just gonna listen. I'm just going to okay. listen and then I'll tell me you, okay. you'll tell have me to I'm trust wrong. me yeah I will <laughs> yeah I can't spell apparently pronounce there we go no I'm right it's Adidas not Adidas Adidas okay I'll still say Adidas I won't I've Adidas I'm not going to be able to I hardly say it anyway so it's not a big deal so when I do say it I'm probably just going to say Adidas but yeah I had this I had the same argument with um with my husband about how you say the name of the dinosaur Diplodocus. 
And he was like, it's Diplodocus. And I was like, I love you, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's actually pronounced Diplodocus. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> We've always been tangent focused, though, haven't we, really? Yeah, We've we always have. been tangent focused. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just thought it was worth pointing out that we hadn't actually mm-hmm. spoken um, conversationally. Well, yeah. But yeah, yeah mm-hmm. like live. Um, and we still don't do video just because I feel like it's it's just another I don't want video. another thing, you know, that we don't have to do. It just it's it's you have to get you have to get presentable and all sorts yeah, of no. like, and I was like, no, it's like mm-mm, I'm not doing no. that. I'm not doing all that. No. Also, the if y'all think the cat knows when Sandra does well, you guys don't know, but we know <laughs> that Sandra has a little clicky for her editing. <laughs> and whenever it goes off, the cat's like, Hi, what are you doing? I want to be involved. <laughs> If you think he knows when you do that, he knows when the fucking camera's on and he Aww. will come and get all up in its space. Oh, so, yeah, that's another reason not to. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, if you wanted us to set up a jinx cam, if he ever lays down <laughs> and goes to sleep, we could do that. But we're not. Yeah, no, I record in my pajamas. I'm not willing to put that much effort in. Yeah. I, I yeah. record in my PJs. But it's yeah. already a lot of effort. We don't need all that extra. Yeah. So we've we've never we've never done videos. Obviously, we know what each other looks like, mm-hmm. but we've never recorded with videos on. We're not stiffing you on YouTube and hiding the videos from you. It's never on. It's never recorded. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Let me start again. Yeah. You like my um my interests in fan fiction have gone beyond what I thought I um I I, I would enjoy. So it's it's definitely Ao3 mm. is the place place to be. <laughs> yeah that's for that um, that's it you start out you start out all normal <laughs> in quote marks normal oh, what's normal? yeah what's normal yeah yeah and then you end up down a rabbit hole going oh god yeah wow. I end up here? <laughs> but i'm glad i i'm glad i got here <laughs> yeah there are tags oh. that i didn't know even existed when i first started on ao3 and now i have team beans red ass you know what um one thing i would like to do in in the future i really need some sort of like shorthand explanation like um shortcuts like understanding or dictionary like of what the different some of these different tags are because i feel very um naive and innocent when i there's one tag in particular and i'm not going to say what it is now i have no <laughs> idea what it means, and i've seen it in a few fix and i kind of don't go to those fix because i don't know what i'm gonna get in for so <laughs> we'll, we'll, maybe we'll save that for like an episode of like oh, certain tags sweetie, do you remember like, when you were know, innocent I never knew <laughs> we'd love. maybe we could do when i was like a sweet summer child yeah and i yeah. didn't i didn't know which i still i still can say there's so much there's so much fiction out there that i still i've really only scratched the surface of a lot of things but now that i've had a little more uh in, of an introduction and deep dive I've into say <laughs> wincest and um now we're i have still haven't read any of the abos but i've got your your suggestions um i said you that nice safe one yeah i know but i still haven't done that one yet um but yeah that and uh yeah i i'm i'm learning i'm learning but i, I can't say it's bad it's 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 good to have all that that knowledge and learn yeah mm. yeah yeah and like we it. did we did then later on go on to do a whole episode on tags didn't we we did we did so yeah Talking tags yep i don't know i don't know if we ever um put it out there but the the tag that sandra didn't know and was scared to click on was dead dove do not eat mm-hmm. and we we discussed it off off camera off might record. have been in one of the outtake episodes i can't remember but yeah ah, maybe maybe, maybe. Yeah, but I I remember I remember being concerned like you were gonna come up with something really like really heavy that I was gonna have to Google and you were like I don't know what this means and I was like oh right no okay that just means that it's there's no redemption you know it's <laughs> it's dark and it stays dark it's not like angst with a happy ending and then I've gone on to use dead dove do not eat in some uh, some of my fakes as well mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that yeah i think we figured out that came from like an arrested development episode or something like that i think when we did some searching on it yeah i think so was it arrested development or was it the office i feel like it might have been the office yeah uh i don't remember because i'm i was a big office watcher and i don't remember that from the office um, um i feel like it was 
arrested development when we when you did a search it was it was arrested development yeah okay yeah, yeah. so yeah that was okay we're gonna do a little bit more of this and see see where it goes something yeah. like that or whatever yeah but it's the dean the dean winchester guide tagged on yeah AO3. yeah and we can we you know I'm, I'm sure we can have plenty of sam ones in there too that you know we didn't know sam um, handling that's my favorite tag <laughs> i have yes the, Team Dean Winchester's red ass bookmark, but Sam Handling is my favorite tag. And can I tell you, I never knew that that was a tag until you just said that. So now I'm going to have to add that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. It's, I found it. We actually had um, it was the person uh, that came up with that. It must or... be a lock. Yeah, Lou. Mm-hmm. It was Lou that came up with that, and I, I told her, yeah. I was like, "You, you give it the best tag I've ever heard." It's not a common tag. Like you have to do, like type it in yourself. It's just not like a prompted one. But yeah, it's still. Was it there? Must it. be a lock, or was it in Cogninja? Now I can't remember. Oh shit! I have to go to my book. <laughs> we'll have to check. Fuck. I don't know. We'll have to check that. Maybe the link in the description. Maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> don't maybe. don't close on that. We might not. <laughs> you can listen to either one of the the interviews with either Incogninja or there must be a lock and you can you can do the search for yourself and see which one came up with that one i'm i'm sure i'm sure it's there must be a lock okay I'm sure it is okay i found it on a sam uh a sam and reader fic okay um and it was tagged sam handling and i was like oh my god that's the word for it that's the word for my king i have that one <laughs> yeah but just oh make god. your own tags up for your yeah. fix yeah i love those i love those two of the ones some of them can be like really long but and I'm just, I'm, I'm never seeing them again. And I'm just like, okay, I know that they're just doing it just to do it. But still, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We need to get into tags. Tags is to be a thing because I need, I need a tutorial and like how to tag my stuff <laughs> better. So we, we definitely need to add that to, um, yeah, our list of things to discuss. Um, yeah. So as you can tell, um, Carly and I are still figuring out this podcast form and still figuring it out a year later as what we're doing. But I think we've gotten <laughs> yeah. a little bit better. <sighs> yeah. Um, Okay, everyone. So we've had a little bit of a um, reshuffle of the causes that we like to promote in light of the upcoming holidays. Um, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, any of the holidays that you might celebrate, we are inclusive. So um, we're still promoting um, Ukraine relief. You know, of course, it's not getting the media attention it needs, but the Russian unlawful invasion of the Ukraine is still going on. So again, we'd like to draw your attention to World Central Kitchen, which exactly as it sounds, helps to feed people, not just in the Ukraine, but in conflict zones all across the world. We are also still drawing attention to Global Giving, the Ukraine Crisis Fund Relief, which of course is just sort of like a centralized donation place. And then they distribute the funds where they are needed the most. So if you can, please, there is no pressure, but if you can help out either of those causes, Give a little bit to the people in Ukraine that are still massively affected. That would be awesome. Sandra, you got causes? Yeah, um, I just wanted to highlight a couple things and basically more, I guess, U.S. based related. But overall, over the years, I've just kind of learned how important it is to keep learning and keep growing, accepting yourself for who you are and reaching out for help when you need it. Uh, So I have a couple new ones uh, to talk about. but. One of the main things is just supporting basic human rights um, with all the changes, government, voting, all the wonderful things that are happening here. I feel like learning more about what's happening in our country is important and finding ways that you can take action are equally important. So we've got uh, the American Civil Liberties Union that we'll have as a link. And then prioritizing your mental health. Uh, just how important it is to reach out and know that there's support and education if you need it. Coping and, you know, getting over things just is not a a viable option uh, and something you can continue to do. So um, I have the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which is uh, NAMI, I think is how you pronounce it, NAMI.org. Um, mm-hmm. And then for those of us who have, who are basically Across the board, but adult survivors of uh, child sexual abuse is one of the things I've kind of been wanting to highlight more, that there are resources, um, ways you can 
move past it on the site for rain.org, which is Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. No matter what, the abuse was not your fault. It's never too late to start healing from this experience. So thrive, not just survive after abuse. So those are mine. Yeah. And of course, they will be centralized to the US because obviously that's where Sandra's based. But I do know, I believe it is Star in the UK, um, surviving after rape and trauma that does very similar work. But I know if you reach out to um, Rain, they can direct you into the right place for your location. Um, Again, hammering home, it's the holidays coming up, guys. And not just for LGBTQ plus people and youth, the, the holidays can be hard for everybody. We know that. That's why we're putting these mental health networks out there. Don't suffer in silence. Reach out to people if you need help. But especially for my LGBTQ plus people out there, holidays, sometimes you have to put yourself black back in the closet, even if you're living out and free. You know, sometimes you have bigots in your family, people that don't support you. It's fucking hard. And it's very easy to say surround yourself with positivity, but not everybody has access to that. So if you're based in the UK, again, I want to signpost you to Switchboard LGBT, which is a sort of talking service that will put you in touch with people who will help you, will talk to you, you know, just somewhere that's safe and supportive. And the US equivalent of that is the Trevor Project. Again, reach out. They will put you in touch with people to talk to if you're not safe at home. You will find support in these places. And the Trevor Project has resources for international LGBTQ plus youths um, because we know it's different everywhere in terms of what laws govern and, you know, what kind of public atmosphere there is towards our community. So those are the causes that we're promoting. And we just want to say, you know, happy holidays. May you be with good people. May you have good food. May you have good times. But be safe. Take care of yourself. If you need these help. Yep. Take care of yourself. If you need this help, please, please reach out and access it. And if you can support any of these charities, if you're in that position, please think about doing so because everybody needs somebody. Back to the episode. It's probably going to be a part of, if it's not every episode, almost all the episodes is something that um, we've titled Cannon Fodder. So this is where I or Carly or both will have fanfic recommendations um, and all of them will be pulled from Archive of Our Own or AO3. Uh, There'll be an intro, info about the author, a summary that I just take directly from AO3, just to give you an idea of what you're in for. And again, like reading some of the tags and then an excerpt of the fanfic. So if it's something we've both read and enjoyed, we may have a short discussion afterwards, but some of these just may be recorded in advance. Um, Today, we've got two fanfic recs um, and just a warning. Um, We like our fix, if you couldn't already tell by our discussion, on the mature and explicit side. So, cannon fodder and how that evolved. Um... It mm-hmm. became a thing that we tried to include in every episode. And I think we were, we did that for a good chunk of our episodes, but then the episodes became really long. <laughs> yeah. Like this is one of our shorter episodes. We've included two fix, but I think what we were trying to do is kind of base the cannon fodder around a theme. So we talk about the theme Then we do cannon fodder and they just became really long. And now I guess, I don't know, Carly, maybe within the last few months, maybe a couple months, we just kind of like, you know, because we weren't doing them as much when we started doing interviews and different things like that, or we would, we would have a topic and then maybe I would do a reading of a fic later because we started getting, we started reading our own fics. Um, I started reading mm-hmm. Carly's. Uh, when we get interviews with people, I get permission to read one of their works in its entirety. Um, 
And so those became kind of, they could stand alone as their own episodes. So I think the cannon fodder kind of went away for a bit, but then I know I missed it. Um, Mm. Just being able to, you know, recommend and just talk about a fic uh, for whatever reason. So now they're kind of back, but their own episodes where we'll give them time to just discuss and they could still be about a theme. We try to theme it, but um, I know I've got a couple lined up that I'm hoping to talk about soon that might not need a theme or um, we could probably just figure out a theme as we, as we talk about them. But yeah, I didn't know what your thoughts were about, uh, about cannon fodder. Yeah, I I like cannon fodder. I do. I'm glad it's, you know, it's, it's probably one of the only things that has stayed consistent. Um, a lot, a lot of the other things have changed, but I always really liked it. And it, it kind of feels like it's changed from like us having both read a fic to recommending fix to each other now. Mm-hmm. I and I enjoy that because mm-hmm. the ones you send me are always really nice, and the ones I send you are always really awful. They're not, not bad. Really they're awful. not. They're not bad. They just tend to be filthy. Yeah, <laughs> filthy yeah. and kinky, and you know. And I always feel like a little bit bad. <laughs> I was like, I should bring a nice fic, and then I look through my bookmarks, and I'm like, how many nice fix bookmarks? But uh, uh, no, I I, I liked kind of fodder from the off. That felt that always mm-hmm. felt quite comfortable. And also, I mean, I think, and I've talked about this before, I've I've noticed that when I was searching for podcasts to listen to about Supernatural, get a lot of real, and the really good ones, like reactions to episodes, or there's like one season 14 time for a podcast where it's like a, it's like um, a guy who absolutely loves uh, Supernatural, and then a fanfic writer, another person that loves Supernatural, and then somebody who never watched it. So they're watching along with this one person for the same, for the first time, this whole rewatch. And I think they're on season, God, I think they're on season nine now. And it's interesting. And those are fun to listen to and get reactions and comments and conversations. But then there was, um, I just wanted, I wanted to hear somebody read the kind of fiction that I liked to read. Like I wanted to hear that narrated because I'd found a Destiel uh, podcast, really a really good one, making it up as we go, um, mm. where the creator just kind of just reads Destiel, like different types of Destiel, usually the ones that are really popular and like, you know, becomes like very episodic or they'll go through like, they'll have maybe four or five episodes that are going through this really long piece of fiction. That's where I listened to the Have Love Will Travel one for the first time where Dean was the stripper and uh, Castiel was the recluse writer and stuff, which I really loved. I, I loved love that one. Listening to that one, that one was really great. But I was like, well, what about one that's just? I just want to hear somebody read a Dean one with a female reader. And I was like, nobody does that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. And I'm just like, I want that one too. Like, you know, it's got to be got to be a thing. And I think that was one of the. I wanted to fill in that little, very small, very small niche. Um, I don't people. think it's that small. We <sighs> see you, listeners. <laughs> you you need to know that we see all the numbers. So we see our pod fix, our ramble on episodes skyrocketing up the charts because we know. And also for the people that listen on YouTube, every so often I'll go in and have a check, mostly because I forget where I need to go to find it. But every so often I'll remember or I'll figure it out. And I go and I see what you search on YouTube <laughs> to find us as well. So... I don't think it's that small a niche because Mm -hmm. the people come and they stay, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that was, I guess like that was like my little, well, there should be, there should be something for that. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe I just need to do it. But then I was also very hesitant about reading, reading anybody's work in full unless you have their permission. So we've gotten pretty lucky with uh, the interviews and we have a wealth of libraries, you know, our own stuff that we can read from, but then also the people that we've interviewed have been like, oh yeah. And then they, they really seem to love hearing their, their work um, narrated. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind yeah. of like being able to do that. And it's given me a lot of practice and stuff, which is now like I'm narrating now, like for other people, like for like, you know, like actual like books and 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 things like that. So that's been a thing that I didn't, again, I never thought I would have been doing, but it's, 
it's opened up a whole new world, as Dean would mm. say, um, quoting Aladdin. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. Jensen, I mean, no. again, not Dean, Jensen. Um, no. but <laughs> Do you know what, though? I was talking to my husband about this because every so often I would just like to inflict upon him what's going on with the podcast. He he listens to the episodes he deems are safe. Yeah. So he doesn't listen to any any of the ramble. Like I warned him, I was like, if it says podfic or ramble on, mm-hmm. don't don't listen to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was so we went out yesterday and he was we, I was just talking about like um like the stats of the podcast and what, you know, like there was only we came out of the supermarket and there was a little sign saying how many days it was until Christmas. And I was like, I'm not even marking the days or the weeks. I'm marking it by podcast episodes <laughs> to the end of the year. I was like, we have six. And he said to me, like, super sweet. He was like, I always get confused with your podcast. And I was like, what? It's like the least confusing thing ever. Do you like Supernatural? Yes. Come and listen to us talk about it. And he was like, no, I don't know where to go to give you the best view. And I was like, oh, baby. He was like, I watch it on YouTube, but then I'm like, should I listen to it on Spotify and give you a view there? And I was like, oh, baby, no, it all counts. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't matter where you listen. We're just glad that you listen. Yeah. Um. But we were just, we were just like talking about it. And I said to him, I was like, I love the podcast. I do. And we've got no plans to stop or slow down. But if it all ended tomorrow, I would be so grateful to have seen the journey that you've gone on mm. from when we started and you were like, you weren't you weren't shy but you were you know still like i'm trying to think how to word it without being offensive you can you know you could say whatever whatever <laughs> but you were just like you were still <clears throat> quite sort of like in your shell a little bit like i came out hauling out of the gate like you know did these are the things i like and you know reserved maybe maybe yeah, reserved yeah okay reserved and then i look at the last year and you've gone from from like that and from this first episode and now you're just like like a freelance narrator yourself you're narrating your own book that you've written and like genuinely if it all stopped tomorrow i would be so glad that i had come with you on this yeah. journey because it's taken you to such an amazing place that i don't think no offense but i don't think you would have got there yourself if we no. hadn't have done no. this this I little pod- have. podcast that can Mm-mm, not at so all. I, I was just talking to him about it and he was like oh that's really nice and I was like I know I'm so proud of her I was like I'm so <laughs> proud of you because if we if I'd have come to you a year ago and gone BT dub Sandra this you'd have been like no 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 mm-hmm. no I know look at you I know that's I so know. nice I've um I've definitely like I said it's it's I have I have you to thank a lot for, you know, being there to support too, because coming up with this is just I I don't think I would have. Like I I think I remember just mentioning it in in our group chat, you know, and saying, you know, I've i I'm thinking about doing this thing and I'm just giving it a try. And um, mm-hmm. you know, I, I thought it would be really great to have, you know the both of you or just one of you or somebody just along for the journey since we've we've been in the Impala for what the past, I don't know, two or three, two years, how many years, two years? I can't remember. Yeah. I think it was 20, 2020 mm-hmm. that we did the collab. I'd have mm-hmm. to check. I'd have to check. But yeah, we'd been, we'd been in the, in the group chat for quite a while and we'd gone through like covid and lockdowns mm-hmm. and and we're all we're all in different parts of the world well, yeah so we'd all had different experiences of what was you know what was happening in our parts of the world and mm-hmm. Dee was in australia and um you know they seem to have a handle on their stuff and me and you were in <laughs> the uk and the usa where everyone was like nah i'll probably be fine uh, yeah uh, and still <laughs> yeah yeah, it was it was twenty twenty twenty. Yeah, we we posted the collab. Mm-hmm. So I suppose if we're if we're reminiscing, we cannot reminisce about this podcast without taking it all the way back to the beginning and giving a huge shout out to Dandelion Dream. Mm-hmm. The dreaming dreams depends. I, yeah, Dandelion Dreaming on Ao three and Dandelion, Dandelion Dreams. I think one. 
Yeah, on we, Twitter. we just yeah. we call it D. Mm-hmm. So I don't. <laughs> it's not information my brain retains. I'm afraid. <laughs> but she she was the one that brought me and Sandra together um, with an AO3 collab. You know, I was the one that insisted on a group chat because there were too many email threads and I couldn't keep up. Yeah, and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna need you all to be talking in one place. <laughs> I can't do this. And then it just it just went from there. And she's mm-hmm. she's the one that coined the the name mm-hmm. of the podcast, which is the name of our group chat on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, just through a, you know, just a random. Oh, it feels like we're all in the back of the car chatting. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. And you know, just messing about with the name on Twitter, and then here we are. So we'll tag her in this as well, and be like, "Baby, you did this. yes, thank you, you Dee. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, yeah." God, it's been a year, hasn't it? It has. So it I'm has gonna, been, yeah. I'm gonna just play. I don't really want to listen to myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know that we did. I don't. I'm trying to figure out where we're at. So hold on, let me see. We're just about to do cannon fodder. We're just having a transition. Yeah. Okay. But I can't remember if it starts with you narrating and then I think discussing. it does because that's different too now. Um pretty sure okay so the yeah very this is first, me talking about oh, yeah. and this was me just chatting so i'm gonna scoot i'm gonna scoot because it's hide your love away and if you want to actually hear it in its entirety we have an episode that incognito had given me permission to read mm. this um but let me see and actually that. i yeah. went and looked and it was incognito that did sam handling okay it, it was not it was not i knew we did, i knew it was one of them because we'd had them on and I was like, I love that. I love that tag so much. Because I think she was. said that she got that from a friend who had like read something of hers and came up with like, this is like Sam handling or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right. Let me see where we're at. I'm just playing for a quick, quick second. <laughs> but that's, that's what I always, I always think of. Oh, look, oh. it's me stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. Let's see. <laughs> it's me just making random noises. Shows more. Okay. Hold on. Because I want to hear us just chat a bit about it. So first of his full wet lips. Like I can see him doing that. All right. Because I think what I did too in this one was uh, I like tried to censor out all the bad words. I was like, I can't do this at every time I read it. This is going to be ridiculous. So yeah, I remember you trying to keep it pretty clean. And I was like, there's no way it's not going to happen. So I don't know. Let me see where we're at now. The whole thing of like, you know, Dean pulled his fingers from your body and he's lifting them into view. He mm-hmm. rolls his head to the side, slips his fingers into his mouth one at a time to the last knuckle, slowly dragging them through the purse of his full wet lips. Like I can see him doing that like when he's eating. And so him yeah. doing that there just seems I have a huge oral fixation when it comes to Dean Winchester. He does not make it easy. <laughs> yeah, because Dean Winchester has a huge oral fixation as well. <laughs> this is the problem. Oral fixation square. <laughs> and by definition, Jensen Ackles doesn't help because he's constantly licking those damn lips of his and doing things with his mouth that's just not just not fair just not fair honestly i think that he is very um i think i think he's an i think it's like a nerves and anxiety thing mm-hmm. the lip mm-hmm. licking but i would I, I don't want him to but i would be grateful if he'd stop beating off microphones and then <laughs> acting like he isn't doing it jensen please and i know he's not actively doing it but like there has to come a point where I'm like, sweetie, do you just hold your junk when you're at home or when you're alone? Like a comfort thing? Because you were very tactile in that area. You just... It's, it's you think like if someone blanket. just showed him a compilation of pictures, <laughs> he might actually stop? I just don't think he would. It's just Jensen, right? Like, Oh, I no, I it. guarantee. But do you think I he'd be like, oh, Jared? Wow. Oh, somebody has yeah somebody has shown him that a hundred percent because you think as well after all this time that jared would think about the things that were going to come out of his mouth <laughs> before they came out of his mouth and save himself and everybody else the embarrassment mm-hmm. that you know situations that he alludes to but he doesn't. he doesn't he still keeps doing it and then he's like oh come on guys like, <laughs> no no <laughs> You said it so, we're running with it. There are a thousand fanfics being plotted at this exact moment in time. <laughs> so, yeah, I just... But no, Dean has an oral fixation. Jensen doesn't hell. And then if we, we square in your oral fixation, it's oh, it's, it's, it's a damn mess. It's See, horrible. You just don't get that with Sam because there's nothing sexy about salad. 
Nothing at all. <laughs> well, there's not necessarily anything sexy about a burger either. And it's not just, it's not just what I he's disagree. Eating. You could disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> oh, because of the having to lick your leg if it gets messy, like that kind of thing. Like, is that what I just saying? think, I just think if you if look, food that you eat with your hands, mm-hmm. it inherently has a little bit of eroticism to it. Hmm. Um, okay. But there's just, it's probably just Dean, to be honest. But there's just something about the, very visceral way that he enjoys food mm-hmm. yeah you know like it's he's a, in there man he's yeah. all about it yeah like sam sam's all like straight laced this is fuel for my body and dean's yeah. like this is an experience i'm gonna enjoy <laughs> so you know salad's not sexy at period you know you just i bet you dean could make it sexy <laughs> no i, I bet you he could make it sexy if there was, um, yeah, I bet you he could. I bet you no. he could. I think he could. I think he could. I'm going to, eventually I'm going to write that down. That's going to be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He Happy birthday, salad. Carly. I made <laughs> Dean make salad sexy for you. <laughs> I don't even like salad. You don't need to make Dean make salad sexy for me. I don't like salad. Oh, oh God. I think I yeah. could. I think I could. Yeah, no, go for it. Write it down. Write it down. Okay. All right. I'm writing it down right now. Salad, Dean, and then we'll see. At and then, like point, in a week, in a year, <laughs> in a week, you're gonna come across that post note and go, "What the fuck is this for? <laughs> what is what? Yeah. Uh, oh, all right. Let me see. I want to get to you. Get to your stuttering. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I think for Dean, if you look at all the moments in the show where he shows really high levels of emotion, he's on his own. Mm-hmm. Um, like. Speci- specifically the moments that come to my mind um the sam's death scene at the end of season two mm-hmm. um, you know where he's he's kneeling on the floor holding him up going it's, it's my job to look after my pain in the ass little brother mm-hmm. and he's mm-hmm. crying because mm-hmm. he's on his own because when bobby comes out of the woods it cuts off mm-hmm. yeah and then again with the the ackles the ackles famous one tear yeah yeah he's on his own there mm-hmm. And then taking it right through to sort of the end of the show, um, when he calls out for Cass in Purgatory. Mm-hmm. Is it in Purgatory or is it in? Is it in the bad place? Is it in the the AU? I can't I can't remember. It's it's in one of those places, and he's on his own, and he calls out for Cass and tells him that you know he loves him and he forgives him. Oh yeah, no, that's that's in Purgatory. Yeah, yeah. Season fifteen. Mm-hmm. There I go. He's there I go with the, the seasons. And crying. <laughs> and probably again, a, an Ackles perfect one tear. Yeah, yeah. Mm, man is. Just meh. But that's that's <laughs> yeah, what there I, you always, go. I always. Think <laughs> there, there was my <laughs> random <laughs> noise and stuttering. Um, mm-hmm. and, and then I, I want to figure out which one, which one you wanted to talk about. Which one did we do for you? Let's see. I'm going to skip. I can't remember which one I brought up. Oh. Carly's recommendation for today comes from an author by the name of Rosie Cheeks. They have written four supernatural fics, and all of their fics focus on incest. (laughs) The title of the fic is called Not So One-Sided. Oh, Oh, yeah. Do you remember that one? I do, yeah. I just reread that recently, actually. Did you? I did, yeah. So that was actually... Like probably more of the Tabor ones that you recommended, right? Because it was really yeah, just, that one's that's it, it's phone sex. That one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you've been mentioning you've kind of like wanted you've been you've been you've been needing that, right? You, you were like looking for that. I like that. Yeah, you like that. I Let's do. Being able to talk to someone who understands me, you know, I, I have to hide so much of myself. Yeah, with my friends here, they don't know what's they don't know what's out there but they don't also know the real me mm-hmm. um so it put it pulls a lot from the show it's you know really quite calm and compliant and it just it gives you this real like depth of feeling that you could you could cut it off before any of the smut happened and it mm-hmm. still stands on its own as a really nice Nice read of just the depth of feeling. You did have have a nice fic. Mm -hmm. Yay! (laughs) Way back when the first one. 
the first one i genuinely i had no idea i could not remember what fic i'd brought to that and then mm. <laughs> it's wincest i was like oh what? we threw all the cards on the table early <laughs> i think i the one thing i've learned and that i've really i think grown to love about this show too is how how people attach themselves to characters and and you you really find out more if you understand the person more like why Mm -hmm. why they things resonate with them like I I I really it kind of took talking about the show with you and about Dean to really kind of have it click that oh I do connect with Dean on all of these other things. Oh, that's probably why for so long I didn't really want to like pay attention maybe to him as much because some of the feelings that he felt were kind of a little too too close mm. to home. Um and I know you oh, I yeah. think you've talked a lot about like Sam Sam too for you um the guy as a character and how we just really, really grow to love them, you know, and appreciate them and want, want the best for them. It's so, it's always so weird to talk about because it's a fictional character, but um, when a show I think can do that for you, give you an outlet, give you a connection, it's never a bad thing, right? Like I think it gives you Mm. that, sometimes that emotional support that you don't get um, in life, you know, maybe for a lot of younger people who again, are still discovering the show now, you know, and that's, that's a great, Mm. great thing that I don't think a lot of people can say about a lot of, a lot of shows. Um, So. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, um, yeah, I just, I've, I've been really, I've been really happy to go on this, on this journey with you. I think the only thing we have is like this weird, let me see. I scroll through a little bit more because I want to see what like how we ended these. I want to see how our ending is. How bad was our ending? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> you know, he put his here. He put this here. He did that there. He. This oh, is what's going. Okay, that's what we're doing. All right, let's he, see. Oh, I think he, I think we're yeah, talking about. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're talking about writing smut scenes and not making uh, them too clinical. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which yeah. is. It's it's always a concern, isn't it? You want to you want to you want to be nice and descriptive so your your reader can you know really project themselves into the story, but you don't want to be writing an anatomy book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, explicit. I'm like, well, they're going to be expecting something, you know, mm. really explicit, and I don't know if it's always going to be that way, but whatever. Yeah, that's that's a whole other discussion about great yeah. graphics and stuff. But yeah, you know, absolutely. I tend to. I tend to go the same way as you and try and describe, give it like a a sense mm-hmm. description more than a, because you can't like you know if you describe the act it's clinical. There's nothing mm-hmm. you can't make it unclinical really. Mm-hmm. This went in there and that happened and <laughs> then that happened, you know. But I think if you can if you can give it more of like a a sensory feel and you know like if you're writing from a reader perspective you know what they can feel and what they can hear and what's touching them and what they're touching and things like that that Mm kind of gives it that little misty-eyed yeah romance novel kind of thing yeah without getting too purple prosy yeah which you know I try not to do but it it does happen sometimes and there's like keeps happening to me I don't know like I know for me. me like the dialogue and stuff like that is kind of big too but it's like you want to make sure it sounds authentic kind of deal mm-hmm. too so when you're in the middle of it like depending is it solo sam is it demon dean is it you know whatever yeah. version of it you want to make sure it still kind of rings rings true for for that character so yeah mm-hmm. no i'm 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 in for this one i'm definitely gonna, gonna yeah. read that and give you my thoughts yeah on yeah that one. Okay, so there's another transition and then i think we do our exit after this um mm-hmm. and i did read it and i did enjoy it it was good yeah, I don't think I've ever brought a fic that you haven't liked. You've been skeptical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we've ever brought fix that the other one didn't like. Mm-hmm. If you're interested in reaching out, finding out more about us, um, or learning more about what we plan on doing with the podcast, um, you can email us at idlinginthepala at gmail We also have a Twitter account. Our Twitter handle 
is idling in the letter D, Impala. And then in terms of reaching out to me, I have some works on AO3. My username is Drasna. On Twitter, you can find me at S Kyle, K Y L E, writes W R I T E S, not writes like a ceremony. And also my website for some of my original fiction is at sandrakyle.com. I keep a solid theme. I'm all in one place. I usually have the same <laughs> profile picture in all places as well. So if you want to find me on AO3, read anything I've done, you can find me at Kali Kama. However you think that's spelled, I guarantee you it's not. So that's uh, K for Kilo, A for Alpha, R for Romeo. L for Lima, E for Echo, E for Echo, and then Karma, as you would spell it normally. See, I told you it wasn't how you thought it was. <laughs> and I'm exactly the same on Twitter, Carly Karma. Uh, it's the same profile picture for both sites as well, just in case you think, hey, I wonder if I found two people with a weird name. <laughs> it's not. If it's the same profile picture, it's me. So that's where I'm at. So messages on Twitter, send us an email. You want to reach out to either of us personally. That's where you can find us. Yeah. And we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Aw. Those cute little kids. <laughs> no, look at those little baby muffins. <laughs> do you know why I've always, do you know, I was thinking that sounded so much more put together than some of the outros we do now, where we're like, uh, did we tell you everything? <laughs> to tell you? It was so easy when we just had a Twitter and email. And our shit. Yeah. And then we just kept adding and adding and adding. And now mm. we're like, we don't remember what we said. <laughs> um, but the reason I I don't well, I've I've put it in every outro we've ever done. But the reason I put in about the profile pictures is because there's um a but I don't know if porn star is still an accepted term. Uh okay. Adult adult actress. Adult films, adult film yeah. star. Let's let's mm-hmm. just go with porn star. Nobody, porn star. Yeah, nobody's porn told star. nobody's told me that porn star is not yeah. okay because like we don't say prostitute anymore. We say sex worker, but nobody has said to me you can't say porn star. But mm-hmm. there is a um, porn star actress with my name, and it's spelled exactly the same way. And for a long time, that was the only other name, only other person I'd ever found with my name. So I was like, I need to tell people that it's. <laughs> <laughs> cross-reference the profile features people <laughs> make sure it's me but now there is um a youtuber that has the same name spelled spelled the same way as me wait a minute so first and like carly karma no it was just carly, just carly. okay because it's gonna yeah. say oh my god okay all right if there are any deviant perverts out there um the pawn star is carly gray i've never watched any of her stuff i don't know if she's any good i don't mm. know if she's ruining the name um <laughs> But like, you know, sometimes you're like, I'll Google myself. I spe- like, maybe not so much for you because you have a much more reasonable normal name. Mm-hmm. But for me, I was like, I wonder if there's anybody out there with my spelled name. Mm-hmm. And then that came up and I was like, oh, piss. All right. Um, okay. So <laughs> that's why I always hammered on about the profile pictures. Gotcha. Okay. Learn something new. Learn something yeah. new every day. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I, maybe for research purposes, I should see if she's doing the name any justice, but that feels a bit too weird then. Mm. And I don't mind being weird, but that just, I don't know, there's just something, something doesn't sit right with me about that. <laughs> so we don't. I think there's an ending here where like it's high school drama on this on this thing. So let's listen real quick. Hold on. Uh-oh. What? Oh, yeah. I've just got a text from Dean. It just says <laughs> car now. Oh no. Busted. Yeah, we got to get baby back in the garage before Dean has a panic attack again. I can't cope with another. Somebody stole my car. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along for the ride. It was great catching up, and hopefully we can sneak out uh, again soon. Cringe, but that's have major cute. palpitations in the process. That's cute. Yeah, ideally not. You know how he gets. <laughs> it was really great catching up, though. We hope to oh, see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Aw. Aw, cute. cute. I love that. That was cute. I'm glad we don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. We love it. Thank fuck we stopped doing that though. <laughs> Bloody hell.
I think, yeah, the other one we did was like the motel one. And then that's when I kind of, and then we, then I found a podcast clip that tried to do a podcast, which is so difficult because the sound on it was, there was so much like radio background between them talking. It was, it was a great conversation. So I only used that a few times and then Mm. found another one that was short and sweet. That wasn't as hard to, uh, you know, piece out or separate because I'm just not that good with my audio skills yet. I'm sure I could send it to somebody and say, could you do this? Could you do this? But I was like, nah, I just didn't, I didn't feel like going that, that extra route. So yeah. yeah. No, well, I, this... I like, I like the one that we've got now though. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's to the point. And then there's nice little um, yeah. engine shut off at the end. And yeah, well, this has been, this has been this a has fun been trip. Lovely. Down memory lane, commemorating mm. our birthday, our one year birthday. Yeah. Um, so it'll be, it's tomorrow. It's the 28th of December. So send us some birthday love, y'all. <laughs> send us your best Dean and Sam pictures. Wish us a happy birthday. If you want to send us cupcakes, you can, but I don't know how great that's going to work out for you because we're either side of the Atlantic. <laughs> And depending where you are, that's going to be a problem. Send us some virtual cupcakes instead. Yeah. We love cupcakes. Yeah, we should. We uh, should wrap this up. We should. Yeah, yeah, we should. So, Sandra, do you want to tell us where they can get in touch with us? So they can email us at idlinginthepala at gmail dot com. On Twitter, we are idling in the letter D Impala. If you want to read some of my fan fiction on Ao Three, I am Drasna. D-R-A-S-N-A. On Twitter, if you'd like to send me a message, I am S. Kyle Writes, S-K-Y-L-E-W-R-I-T-E-S. And if you'd want to read some of my fan fiction, no, not my fan fiction, my original fiction, you can yeah. visit my website at SandraKyle.com because I've got a book coming out. It will Cowboy be out by It will the be time. out by the time it's Cowboy Cantor, so you won't have to worry about pre-ordering it. You could just order it. Or... If you've already pre-ordered it and you're reading it, let me know what you think of it. Um, yes. This, let's see, this outro is longer now than it should be because normally now we have a link tree that Carly created. So mm-hmm. the link tree will be in the description with all of the other socials. But I kind of felt like I had to talk about my socials one more time since I heard myself say it. Um, you missed talking episode. about your socials. Yes. I just wanted to throw that Aww. out there. So yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't miss it at all. She just likes rubbing it in my face that everything is different. That's what it is. But since she did her socials, I'll do mine. If you want to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter at Carly Karma. That's K-A-R-L-E-E. Karma, as you would spell it normally. Um, You can read my fan fiction over on AO3, Carly Karma. Again, same profile picture in both places. You know, make sure you're not accidentally following a porn star. I don't even know if they're still active. I don't even know if that bit's going to make it into the podcast. So Sandra might have to do some funky editing here. But um, there is a link tree in the description for all our socials and um, Sandra's website and things like that. So don't forget, if you haven't bought it already, go buy Cowboy go buy Cowboy Cancer. If you have and you're reading it, reach out. Let us know what you think. I will be reading along with you because I, unfortunately, do not get early access. I have to wait. I have to wait along with everybody else. You think you get perks in this job, but you don't. Um, we also have a Kofi account. Um, if you wanna, if you can, there's no pressure whatsoever. But if you can, if you wanna give a little bit back for all the hard work that goes into the podcast, we would be endlessly grateful. And we also have merch as well. Links for that will be in the description also. So we're gonna say one more time, happy birthday to the podcast. It's been a great year with you guys, and we cannot wait. For year two and what comes so thank you very much for joining us in the back seat and we will see you next time bye bye